In this Tech Tips video, you will learn how to build and configure a Windows 7 virtual machine with Microsoft Office 2016 for use on your Mac. This tutorial builds on a previous Tech Tips video titled, How to Order and Download Duke Provided Software. Before you proceed with this tutorial, you must have the installation files for VMware Fusion 8, Microsoft Windows 7, Microsoft Office 2016 for Windows, and Symantec Endpoint Protection for Windows downloaded to your Mac. I recommend placing the installation files, along with the associated activation keys, on your desktop so they can be easily located and accessed when needed. Double-click the VMware Fusion installation file and repeat in the window that opens to begin the process. A security warning will pop up. Click Open to continue. Enter your Mac username and password and click OK to allow the application to install. VMware Fusion is now installed and is asking for installation media from which to build your VM. Before moving ahead, open the menu and click Buy Now or Enter License. Open the file where you saved the license key for VMware Fusion and copy it over to the field provided. After you confirm that you have entered the key correctly, click Done to activate your software license. Now we will build a virtual Windows 7 PC. Begin by dragging the Windows 7 image onto the left side of the installation wizard. Confirm that this is the Windows 7 file that you downloaded and click Continue. Open the file where you saved the product key for Windows 7 and enter it into the provided field. Select Windows 7 Professional from the drop-down menu and click Continue. On the Integration Options page, choose to keep your Windows VM more isolated. Click Continue. Click Customize Settings, change the name of your virtual machine if you wish, and click Save. Now the VM will open and we will make some important changes before starting the machine. Under System Settings, click Sharing, select Enable Shared Folders, and click the plus sign to add a folder. From the Finder window, select your Home folder and click Add. Click Show All to return to the menu and select Display. Uncheck both options and exit out of the Settings window. Click the Play symbol in the center of the screen to power on the VM. At this point, the installation of Windows 7 will begin. Do not close or power off your Mac or exit VMware Fusion during this process. This will take some time, so we'll skip ahead. Once Windows Setup is complete, you will see your desktop and the Set Network Location window will open. Select Work Network, then click Close. By now, VMware Tools should have automatically started to install. Allow this to complete and then let the VM restart. VMware Tools installs all of the drivers necessary for your virtual machine to work smoothly with your laptop hardware. For demonstration purposes, I will cancel this process before it is done so I can show you how to manually run the installation in case something goes wrong. After the VM has fully restarted, click Virtual Machine in the menu bar and select Install VMware Tools. Click Install in the pop-up window and when prompted, choose to run the setup file. Click Yes to continue. At this point, we will choose to repair VMware tools. If it had not been started before, you would choose Install. Click Next. Click to continue. This process can take a couple of minutes, so I'll skip ahead. When complete, you should see that the shared folder you set up earlier is now on the desktop. Click Finish and allow the VM to restart once again. Now open the shared folder on your desktop. Inside, you will see your Mac OS Home folder. Open this folder, then open Desktop. In this folder, you will see all the files that you have saved on your Mac desktop. The next thing that we need to do with the virtual Windows 7 PC is install Semantic Endpoint Protection. 
right-click the Semantic for Windows zip file that you downloaded on your Mac, and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes in this window, now click OK, and when asked if you want to run the file, click Run. When the installer is ready, click Next, then read and accept the terms of the license agreement, and click Next again. Select Unmanaged Client, then click Next. Now select Typical, and click Next. Uncheck this box, click Next, and click Install to begin. Allow a few minutes for the installation to complete. When the program has successfully installed, click Finish. Now it will automatically download and install updates. Allow some time for this to complete. When it is finished updating, you will be prompted to restart the computer. Go ahead and do this now, and we will install Office 2016 after the restart. Once Windows has fully started, open the VMware Shared folder and navigate to the location on your Mac where your Office 2016 setup file is located. Double-click the Microsoft Office 2016 setup file. Click Run and when prompted, click Yes to allow the installation. This will take a while, so I'll skip ahead. After the installation is complete, all that is left is to activate your copy of Office and run Windows Updates. Click Close to exit the installer. Close any open windows in the VM. To activate your copy of Office 2016, open one of the newly installed applications. When it starts, the Activate Office window will open. To ensure a permanent license activation, do not enter anything in this field. Instead, click the link to Enter a Product Key under the Next button. Open the file where you saved your Office 2016 product key and copy it into the provided text field. Click Install when you are ready. Office 2016 is now activated. You can close any open programs. Next, you will update Windows 7. Click the Start button and type Windows Update. Select the Windows Update program at the top of the list. Click Turn on Automatic Updates and wait for any available updates to download. After the updates have downloaded, click Install Now and wait until finished. Now configuration of your VM is complete. Be sure to stop the VM when not in use, either by clicking the Start button, then Shut Down, or by clicking the pause symbol in the top menu bar of the VM window. If you fail to stop the virtual machine when not being used, the overall performance of your Mac will be greatly reduced. It is best to only use the VM when needed for specific Excel add-ins that cannot be run on your Mac. For later convenience, you may want to choose to keep VMware Fusion in your dock. Then, when you need to use the Windows 7 VM, you simply start VMware Fusion and click the large play symbol in the center of the window. That concludes this Tech Tips video. Thank you for watching.